so i have removed the bug and the game works perfectly there was them with the game grid because i created negative in the y index i have been like x index i mean row because the y position is negative and it got fixed so i did it in less than 10 to 20 minutes so now we should be able to move the player so whenever we hit six player should move uh we create a valid index so let's see till we hit six no why it's so far it's six uh it's far. okay so when we hit six the player moved here and when we click again a player should move so now the player can move but uh, now we need to check the conditions for the game end and when the piece reaches the end we need to uh, give it an another turn and uh, when the player kills it should have an another turn so let's create the functionality for so for that has reached end and the has killed we have created the two booleans and the remaining pieces so the remaining pieces stores the number of remaining pieces for each player and the can kill which uh, which will get a last index and will get the piece at that last index and for every piece which is not at that last index and the killing is only available on the normal position so we'll add a condition if it is a normal position and we'll remove every player and move that player to the start and when the board will uh, up, uh, update the kill so it will just set the player's position to zero so let's create it inside the game manager so inside the game manager uh let's uh, set that to the number of players to force for remaining pieces of players of five add the awake function for now uh, set the name we need to set the remaining so remaining pieces i cast it here equals to four and we'll decrease it whenever the player reaches it and after that inside the update function let's do for the killing so first we'll set has killed as equals and we'll get the game index last index and from there we'll get it we'll get it from the texas so it is at the indexes at indexes dot count minus one. So we'll get this index only if we can move and the moving piece dot piece number. So if we can move a valid index, then we'll get this index. Now if we'll check if last index dot position type is equals to normal position type and last index dot uh, and last index does not contain let's do a contain safe so if contain safe last index is contained in the safe position then we won't do it but if it is not contained in the safe position then we'll do the following so let's create a contain safe so it will return a boolean and we'll pass a game index and let's just call it index and let's just return false so when we'll return true for each and let's call it game index temp in 
safe positions if temp dot position equals index dot position and temp dot position type is equals to index dot position type so if both are equal then we'll return true so it's just going to be a match and if it is not contained in it so it won't match any of it then we'll return false now we have have we created the safe position okay so these are the safe positions we don't need to check for the normal because if it is normal then we have already passed here so we just need to check for the position type but uh, for the equal to condition i'll just set it here so after doing that uh if it is valid then what we'll do is uh, we'll get pieces at that index and it's going to be a list of game piece and we'll call it removing pieces because we need to remove these pieces uh, as they are at the last index and we'll call it from my board dot get piece at index and we'll pass the last index. And after passing the last index, so it is for each and for each game piece. And let's call it remove and removing pieces. If remove dot player not equal to players of current player, so it is not the current player, then what we'll do is game pieces at remove and we'll set the transform dot position is equals to start pause for the remove dot player and the piece number is remove dot p so we are going to set its uh, position to the start and we need to send the board to my board dot hit kill pass and the set has killed to true so we have killed some and it will not is the player count is in the move end so as skill is set to true if it now the next condition is going to check if the game is finished or any of that player has reached the end so if last index dot post type equals to contents dot end pose And last index dot pause is equals to phi. So phi is the last index, is the last position. So what will true is first we'll set has reached end to true. Then we'll decrease the remaining pieces for the current player. Players of current player. And we'll decrease it by one. We'll do minus we'll do one. And after decreasing it to one, we'll check if the remaining pieces for the players at current player is equals to zero. If it is zero, what we'll do is we'll uh, First, remove that play players dot remove at 
and we'll remove that current player and if players dot count is equals to one so after removing that player a one player is remaining then we'll set has game finished is equals to true and if remaining pieces is uh, zero if any of that has reached the end and will uh, the current player maybe change because on the players dot count so again we'll set it to players dot count because here we can remove content so if it has passed then is the players count and before doing remove at we'll do player rank for the player rank dot count plus one is equals to players of current player set up the player rank and before doing that we need to add the name we'll add the number so we'll do player names and inside the player names we need to get the current players pass players current player pass it to an integer because if we just pass the current player and there are only two players remain the last player uh, if we pass players and then we cast it will show four but if we pass the current player then it will only show two so we are getting the player names and in the player name we'll get the text and inside the text we'll set the text is equals to player rank dot count plus one and we'll convert and then add a and a space and then we'll add whatever was that so it should update the player's rank now the game should be able to finish and should have done it correctly. Half that was only if that error not happened now to add this part at the end of the video. So everything should work correctly. Let's hit save and let's So let's go inside Unity and let's hit. And inside the pick, you won't be able to see, but uh, ourself longer. Uh, here we first created the last index and we'll set the position we are getting at position of the players which we are getting at the last index so if any player is uh, present at the last index and the last index should not contain the safe and we'll uh, set the position to the starting position and we'll update it the board and for the end position we are just checking if it is a fifth end position and we are decreasing its uh, remaining pieces count and if the remaining pieces count is zero then that player should not have any more turns left and we are setting its number or the rank we are adding it to the name and if 
uh, the player's slot count is one so if only the last player is remaining then we'll just set has game finished game will just side the move and if uh, any of this has happened then we won't increase the player's count and we don't need to set the message inside the awake function uh, uh unity does go inside the start or turn turn should check the message for every it's already done it and it's it will not work and instance is created in the start so instance is created in the awake created in awake it also it's too difficult but let's just add just and set everything to false start i think Players at this the fourth pair. It's showing the third and the pair, but uh, let's play. Why is it showing the third and the fourth? I don't know. Go inside the game manager. Awake. We are setting it active. For that, we'll. Uh, let's just set everything to false for for player. Therefore, let's do active. If we play, it should only add in the back. Players of the It's setting true in the awake match. Now oh, let's set red and blue player three. And the player four is if he's showing yes it is let's save it click on the Till the fourth player. They all the players are showing, but somehow it is. Let's go. And maybe I. Player four is green. This is also mm, there will be some errors, but everything is almost correct. On the outside, so be recording for the next of days because that of crackers. And if you like the video, do like and subscribe the channel. That was it for this video. And guys, next. And if you want to get the assets, so maybe I'll try to post it. Needs it, and whenever somebody comments it, I'll upload.